back to my channel today i have come up with a new python project so i recommend using the ide of python visual studio code so you go to your google chrome browser and click visual studio code download and then you open the first link you open it and then um, whichever your so operating system is you click the you click uh, it has windows ubuntu and mac so you click on the button download and then uh, the download should automatically start or you can click on this direct download link so you just wait for it to uh, install okay guys so after the download computer uh, completed you click on it and then um, just wait for it wait for a window to prompt on your desktop so here something like this should open this is all the basic just click on i accept the agreement next this is all common next next okay so here if you want a desktop icon you click on the desktop icon create a desktop icon and then uh, create it and then click next and then install so you just wait for it to install and uh, see the next steps so after the download completes it should look this window should prompt and then complete the visual studio code code setup so you just launch visual studio code and then you click finish so it uh, takes some time and opens a new window guys after the install has completed uh, visual studio code uh, window will open so you just click open folder and uh, you just uh, go to wherever the your file is saved folder saved i saved mine in visual studio code so i'm going to open it and then the next thing i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to create a file called clock dot py it uh, and uh, it should automatically create a python file and uh, our first line of code is going to be from take enter import uh, all so the all we're going to represent with a star next from from take enter dot tt from tkinter dot ttk um wait a second guys from t import i'm going to import we're going to import all and the next thing is we're going to do is from time we're going to import strf time and uh, now we're going to create our root so root equals to tk so make sure your t is capital in this case and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to name our root so r o t root equals to root i mean root dot title um our title is going to be clock so next now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to label it so label equals to label equals to i'll capital label label and uh, in brackets we're going to keep our ot root so the this root and that root are connected Mm. We're gonna just uh, now. Uh, we're gonna define our font. So the font. Now, guys, I need you to create a font. I will need to download a font. So what you're gonna do is, I'll give the link in the description. I'll uh, I'll give you the link in the description. So you just download it. And after the download has been complete, after the download has been completed, what you're gonna do is, I'm just showing you guys one second. um okay so the second uh, file you have 
just click on it and click install and then the file and then the font will be installed onto your computer and now you are we're gonna write the name of a font which is um in brackets we're gonna keep it ds hyphen digital okay now um whoa, now we're gonna define our size so the size i'm gonna keep it up to 80 and the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna write the background i'm gonna define the background so the background color so guys you can keep any color you want but i'm gonna go with cyan i'm gonna go with cyan for this and then i'm gonna for the foreground for the four for the foreground i'm gonna keep black black Okay, now uh, we're gonna pack the label. So label dot pack anchor. Okay, anchor equals to center and. Uh, So after we anchored it to center, the uh, next thing we're gonna type is we're uh, gonna define our time. So we're just gonna um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay. So define time, and I'm gonna put it in brackets. And so okay. So now of course we're gonna create a string. String equals to str strf time okay now we're gonna define our hour minute second pm all that so percentage m percentage uh, i mean first we're gonna keep percentage h and then the percentage m and then the percentage Mm, S and uh, then we're gonna keep the percentage P. Wait, I forgot to keep percentage here. Percentage S and percentage P. Okay, so this uh, H is for hour, M is for minute, S is for second. So, guys, you can also change this. You can keep M, H, S, whatever you like. And uh, next, I'm gonna write label dot config config the text so the text uh, the text equals to string which is this so the text which is going to display it this means that the text which is going to display it is this the hour minute and second so now we're going to keep label label dot after um, thousand thousand and then thousand and then time and uh, now we're gonna close the close the code by typing time in brackets and then uh, main loop main loop and brackets okay guys so now let's just run and test it out so that there are no errors um, wait a second guys so guys here see the uh, window has new open window new has opened new window so let's just check the time on our clock in the window so it is exactly the same guys 19 4 12 p.m and it also shows your p.m and a.m so that's it guys thank you for watching this video hope you liked it and uh, this is how you create a simple clock using python so you can also change the colors here background 
you can change the background color and the uh, foreground black okay guys so thank you and don't forget to like share and subscribe this video don't forget to like share and subscribe this video thanks for watching